Mako Bobo. Hi, Mac. I wasn't first. Imagine the one time you weren't in offline chat. Hi, hacker. Welcome in. I'm gonna try my best not to backseat game. Yeah, just because it's sub only doesn't mean you can tell me what to do. But hello. I was just thinking of a new secret I could write, but I couldn't think of anything funny. I <laughs> I literally can't think of anything funny. Has everyone calmed down from earlier? Hopefully. I really hope so. Also, how does the music sound in relation to my voice? Is it fine? Or is the game too loud? You should make it how your ex touches bum than food. What? Also, also keep in mind, like the loading screen music is louder than in-game music. I don't. What are you talking about, Mac? Are you guys? That's not my story, okay? It's me shitting on him. Okay, the the music doesn't automatically loop, so I'm gonna open the game and close it. So don't freak out. I make one joke, I tell one fake story. Wait, dude, what if I was just lying? <laughs> I was just talking shit to talk shit. That'd be hilarious. But then, would that be slander? You don't got no money to sue me anyway, now that I think about it. He's a brokey. to check if TTS works. I didn't check. No leaks. You guys want to hear what a tester alert sounds like? This is a test donation for $48. Okay, TTS works. Because it wasn't working earlier. Wait, because like a resub message didn't get read. And I was sad because it was Emmy's message. Okay, now it's working. I did not scam Emmy, it was just Streamlabs being icky. Um, uh, one more minute guys, one more minute, then we'll start. Meg phone streamer, but then I realize I'm not on base cam. I can literally be doing anything right now, and you guys would have no clue. Anything? Yes, anything. Hi, Keelan. Yeah, imagine having stream muted. Cringe. Also, I got a- I did a little bit more homework. So, that's why I'm a little bit late. Here for my kids? Wait, is this a co-parenting situation? What? But hi, Kim. Thank you for clocking in on time. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. <laughs> I was waiting for you to talk for a good five minutes, and I was like, wait. 
<laughs> Good one. Good W. I'm reporting to work? You mean like a game show? What? Yo. Hi, Pride. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? My favorite show is on me? Are you saying I'm a clown? I'm getting... You got pizza and ice cream? You're spoiled. I hate that. Okay, today. Let me get the music back on. Hold on. I'm, re I'm refreshing the game. Also, I was gonna change into, like, comfy clothes, but then... I just don't want to do more laundry. We had Pride, Mac, Kim, Kobobo, Keelan, and Hacker in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. I appreciate you all. <laughs> no, I mean the stream. This is my job now. That's because I'm unemployed. <laughs> Dude, one day the unemployed bit is going to go too far. It's <laughs> I can't. I can't. Wait, should we make him a mod since they don't have a job anyway? <laughs> oh my god. I can't. I got leftover pasta? I love leftovers. Okay, okay, okay. Today, the long-awaited Stardew Valley stream is making a comeback. The last time I played Stardew Valley on stream was literally over a year ago so yeah it's been a while um i'm excited i'm indifferent i haven't played this game in a long time <laughs> so the a big reason why i had this game on my mind again was um because so this is a different friend who is a straight okay so oh yeah so this is friend a so a friend of friend a gifted friend A, him, a copy of Stardew Valley on Steam, and they were telling me, I was, they were like, why did they give me Stardew Valley? It's literally the gayest game. And I'm like, yes it is. And then he played it for 30 minutes and he's like, I can't, this is so boring. <laughs> it's <was> funny. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna play Stardew Valley. We're gonna start a new save. We gotta think of a good name, because once we think of a name, we can't change it. So yeah. I think this will be the new subscriber-only game that we'll do, because you know, evening streams should be more chill. Also, I know this is a game that a lot of people like. I like this game too, I'm not the best at it. I'm not gonna do any speedrun strats, I'm not gonna try hard to build my base. So please... Please... Resist all urge to backseat game. Even though this is a sub-only stream, that does not mean you will not get timed out or banned. Can we all shake and agree? I solemnly swear. Wait, where's my heart? Here. I solemnly swear I will not backseat game because I am a good chatter. No mods ban, Max. Seriously. <clears throat> All I've ever done was empty out the farm. I love doing that in the first few days. I'm gonna want to backseat game so hard. Okay, I know. That's why I gotta resist the urge. Just like what they teach you in church. Amen. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's play the game. Also, I might rearrange my elements, okay? Um, Because I don't know what overlays the game has. So I might rearrange. How do I backseat a game I've only played for five minutes at best? Have you never been in a Twitch chat? There's so many freaking backseat gamers. A oh, Meg phone streamer. I gotta answer a text. <laughs> Guys, some only stream. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I told them that I'm playing Stardew Valley and they said that gay ass game? <laughs> a different friend, different friend. <laughs> I've never played so what? You've ne what? How does wait what what I thought you wanted me to play this, Kim. She's texting the side bitches? Yes I am. I have twenty one. Oh wait, no, what what did I click? Oh yeah, so this was my old stream save. Um I have four- 
48 hours? Oh my god, I'm insane. Dude, I played this game when I had like one viewer. And look where I'm at now. I'm at- Wait, I should not say my live viewer account. VOD watchers only. Everybody else, close your ears. I'm at seven viewers. Ain't no way. Tiblin Farm? Yeah, it's like the- anim uh, Yeah, Animal Crossing Island. Tiblin. And I named it Tiblin. Okay, new save, everybody. Oh no, this is the worst part. I'm a girly. <clears throat> oh. I hate these keyboards. What should I name myself? When I was unemployed and dropped out of school for a bit, I played this game all day and night. That sounds like a typical unemployed thing to do, huh? <laughs> no, I think my peak when I was playing this game was when I was working two jobs and I would get home from work at like 11 and then I would stay up until 1 and play this game. So I guess the opposite of your case. What is wrong with you, Kim? I almost missed that message. Wait, what? what is this? Oh, name my farm. <laughs> oh, wait, chat is blocking it. <laughs> Let's move it down here for now. Should I do it or should I do something else? Should we be mature or have some fun? You should make your mom your favorite thing. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Wait, who got auto modded? Oh, okay, yeah, bitches is, is a good word here. So I just I'm gonna name this place Paradise. Um, I think it's funny. Wait, how do you spell Paradise? Oh no, I need to look up how to spell Paradise. I am I'm clueless. I'm so bad with spelling. Anyway, whenever I watch other streamers and I look at the chat, I always figure out which words to add to my ban list. And I've learned I should ban the word inc or incest. That is now a blocked word. Oh, how do you spell paradise? It's para para d i s e para d c yeah, but with it but but with an s. Paradise. Wait, can I add a smile? Paradise. Smile. Oh, look how cute that is. Wait, how, is that how you spell paradise? I feel like it's with a C, but it's not. That doesn't look right. Also, my sister might come into my room later, so if I jump, don't be scared. It's just me jumping when she comes into my door. Or walks through my door. It looks odd. Yes, it does. It does. <clears throat> okay. Favorite thing? Thank you, Mac, for the suggestion. Sister reveal? No, she won't be in frame. Yeah, I, I told her. I told her. <laughs> oh, sorry. My, my TV turned off. Did you eat the pizza? Yeah, I had another slice of both my pizza and the chat's pizza. I did save the other half of chat's pizza for my roommate. They said they might try it. Okay, controversial, but cats will always be better than dogs. You know why? Because if I have to win over your affection, I will love you ten times more. I 
I like this one. I like to give myself like aqua and marine eyes in games because I think it's so pretty. It's nothing near my real hair color, but I love it. Ooh, I love a light denim. I'm a little bit brown. Ooh, emo. Wait, I think this was the hair I used in my old save, the buns. Okay, I'm a sucker for pigtails. I'm not gonna lie. Never do curtain bangs. It would not look well in my head. Oh my god, I look like a princess. Scoop top. Imagine trying to farm with that hair, but I would look hot AF. Oh no. <laughs> An animal shirt? That one's kind of cute. Wait, I actually like that one. I know yellow does not look good on me, but I think it looks good on this character. Wait, the shorts? I don't know what farm I'm going with. I haven't, like, looked at the other... Okay, I don't have facial hair. Not yet, at least. I do get a lot of, like, stubblies. I have to pluck. I got unlucky. Okay. Let's see which farm. I've done standard. Okay, your farm is several... Or your farm is spread across several islands and scenic riverbanks. Fish are more usually common here. I think I've had the Riverland farm before. Forest farm. The woods limit your farming space. However, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. I've, do I've done the forest. Hilltop. Rocky terrain and a winding river makes it difficult to design your farm. However, the mineral deposit a mineral deposit provides mining opportunities. I think I've done the hilltop, and I think hilltop is good for when you're trying to actually get material and build up buildings for your farm. <laughs> There's plenty of good land out here, but beware, at night little monsters come out. Or the monsters, not little. <laughs> That's it's not a skirt, it's shorts. Uh, what? It's it's shorts. Whatever. I like it. Okay, four corners. The land is divided with four parcels, each with its own per. Perfect for a group. I have no friends, so I'm not doing that. Beach farm. Good foraging and fishing in tons of open space. Sometimes supply creates wash upon the shore. However, sprinklers don't work. Oh... I've always wanted to try the beach one, but I can't. I can't. It's too much. Hi, Crystal. Thank you for the lurk. Yeah, sprinklers are a must. I wonder what the wilderness one is. What are the monsters? I've never seen the monsters in game. Try the wilderness one. I'll try it. <laughs> the monsters are Twitch chatters for real. Okay, new farm, everybody.
and for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have this sealed envelope. The bed is so flat. Yes, it is. Hi, Bohan. Welcome in. Can we get some peace? I too. Yo's. Welcome in. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Welcome in. Oh, wait, no. No, no. Don't open it yet. <laughs> now. Listen close. Why is he pinching? Why is he doing this? There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Dude, he's got a sword on the mantle. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Is this about capitalism? When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Years later. Join us. Thrive. Wait, the Joji Company? Lore? Dude, these computers are huge. It's almost like they're looking at TVs. Ooh, terminated. See, this is what it'd be like if you were employed, everybody. Dear Peason, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in my life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to, but to that place, my pride and joy, paradise, smile, farm. <laughs> it's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. Wait, is it in Florida? Oh no. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I won't. Wait, I was gonna say, why don't you do it yourself, but I just realized my grandpa died. Awkward. Yeah, I don't know what route I want to take. I've never done the JoJo route. So maybe I'll actually do it. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. Stardew Valley. In half a month. I think it's interesting how I'm able to take a bus to, like, some rinky-dink town. Why is public transit so good in this world? And why can't we have that? I'm gonna shrink chat a little bit. Max, stop spoiling. Maybe some people haven't played the game yet. Jeez. <laughs> or maybe I'll put chat on top, right? I don't know. I don't know. I I'm trolling, I'm trolling. <laughs> You're funny. Just don't tell me how to play. <laughs> Robin. Hello! You must be Pewson. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you follow me. Yeah, I've never done the Joji route. I don't I have beaten the community center within two years, so... Wait, is it just the normal farm? This is Paradise Farm. Smile. Oh my god, hi titans! What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Dude, my character is so pretty with my hair. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer! Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, 
Everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Okay, can I just say, I've never tried to bang multiple people in game because I believe in monogamy. And I don't believe in divorces, so if I'm gonna marry somebody, it's one and done. That's why I'm never dating again. <clears throat> don't listen to her, Peason. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Capitalism? Okay, the chat is way too small. <laughs> VOD watchers in shambles. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Dude, Robin looks so annoyed. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in that box here. I'll be- I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Oh, it is braids! I thought it was like long flowy hair. Your progress has been saved. Okay, so R1 and R2 is to select the tool. It is braids. Okay, th I've had the braids before. They are cute. Parsnip seeds. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Let's start a fire. Oh, look at all the creatures on the wall. Living off the land. Oh, welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another- <laughs> My camera's blocking the text. With another tip for y'all. Now, listen up. Wait, I just realized I can look at my OBS viewfinder if I can't read the text. This one's for all you green horns out there. Chop wood and search for wild foliage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. You got it, boss? Okay, he told me to go to town, but I feel like I should explore a little bit. Okay. Whenever I play this game like a new save, I will always try to upgrade my inventory as fast as I can. Because I think it's so annoying when I can't do anything or hold anything. Okay, it's seven. I'm gonna go into town and see what happens. Oh, wait, I should- I'll explore the blaze later. Oh, I just realized- Can I pause? Okay, I can. My face cam is covering the time of day. Let's do a little bit of rearranging, everybody. bottom left cam but then it's gonna block the text i think i'll do cam top left and then chat center right because you guys are a bunch of right ringers right <laughs> i'm kidding pro streaming here i did i didn't have a chance to like test the overlays and i didn't want to start the game without you know my blind reaction i don't know about that guys i'm Guys, I'm joking. Exclamation secret in chat. Okay, chat center right I think is good. about where I got bored and stopped playing. It's okay, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, this game isn't for everybody. Okay, 
Okay, there's no way for me to run faster. Sad day. Festival and flower dance. No, I'm not gonna play Sims on stream. Oh, 9 a.m. minus one hour. I don't even have a fishing rod yet. I'm wasting so much time. <gasps> Penny? Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Oh, okay, is that all you're gonna say? Not very nice. Or friendly, rather. I think if you try to pursue Penny, you like... <laughs> I was gonna say you like M-O-M-M-I-E-S, but... <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Gus. Oh wait, chat covers the text box. Let me let me fix that. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Now it's perfect. I gotta get used to this full screen overlay. <clears throat> okay. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, Chief and No or <laughs> Chief. Chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. I mean, it is the only shop in town. Smasher past Gus? I like facial hair, but when they only have a mustache, I get sussed out. Like, jokingly, not joking. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> oh! <laughs> Holy! Pierre's running a Monopoly? For real! Abigail was the first one I pursued. Please, yeah, I know, but you know, I, I, I do. Okay, Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving onto that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. So you're admitting to trespassing, you rebel? But I like that. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> okay, $500. Okay, I know the strat is to grow- or one of the strats is to grow trees. I know that. I only have $500 though. What are your thoughts on Sebastian? Is that the other emo kid? Uh... Yeah, I don't like the crops that grow on a trellis. I think they're so annoying. So is this like Animal Crossing with the farming? Kind of? I mean, it's definitely more complex than Animal Crossing because it's all about like base building and using your money appropriately. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with potatoes. Oh my god, I'm, I'm a brokey. I'm a brokey. Oh, hello. Marnie. Ah, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products in my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Yeah, Mac could not have said that any better. I feel like the first month is fun because you just grind, usually go mining, that type of thing. I don't like late game as much. Not gonna lie, I think the funnest part is just clearing out the home base of debris. 
Because I just like doing repetitive tasks. I need to sit up straight. Okay, how do I rearrange these? Okay, there we go. Thing away. Wait, what? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Because I'm so used to A, but it's Y to use your item. Okay, I'm just gonna focus on getting my initial crop set up. is so weak. Okay, it's gonna take a while to get used to everything again. Oops. <laughs> this is so bad. Guys, I'm a pro gamer. <laughs> I told you I'd jump. I told you. Okay, all clear. I just had to mute. We were telling each other secrets. I was talking mad shit about you guys. You can tell us no, you guys will leave. Even if it's sub only, I can't trust you guys. Seeds. Okay, okay. I'm lurking. Okay. We like the lurkers. Oh, wait. I don't think I have a spring break. Sad. Because I have a class for April, May, and June. Is anybody gonna do anything for spring break? Wait, Mag, you gotta ask that girl out. That's your job. I'm not looking forward to it. Oh. Sad. What do I say? Just say, you want to hang out? And maybe go on a date? Easy.
Was that in the game? Oh, minus two energy if I eat the sap. <laughs> Go up to them and say smash or pass for a real. You can imagine. <laughs> okay, nothing's gonna give me energy. I have no money, so I can't buy anything. I can maybe scrounge around for food. Oh, you know what I gotta do? man on the street interview type videos all the people that they film usually file or sign like a consent form so i know if any like bozo walked up to me on the street with a microphone i just wouldn't sign the consent form and i think it's silly because in some videos, like, people, some of them look like actual dummy dumps, right? And if I got interviewed by somebody and I knew I looked like an idiot, I'd just be like, no, don't. I don't want you to post that. She always has an empty seat next to her in class, so I just sit next to her. Dude, you're in! Easy. Yeah, I have no direction. I I'm just... Scrounging around. This place is huge. How's my energy not depleted? When you use the scythe, you don't lose energy. It's pretty nice. saying you could sit next to her but you don't dude just do it if you're already kind of friendly just sit next to them easy i'm scared you're an adult you were like i'm ready to date again and then you're like i'm scared yeah you got this mac <laughs> sorry for being harsh but you got it come on you can do it Man, this place is huge. <laughs> Dude, why is your therapist whipping out that question on the first section? Jeez. First day was really intense. Oh, that sucks. Mine was super easy. She was just like, well, based on your symptoms, we're gonna work on this, this, and this. Oh, no! What is this? Oh god, I'm dying. Okay, if this is the only enemy that comes out at night, I'm not too scared. I just gotta wait till I get my actual sword. Oh, there's another one. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. Oh, no. Okay, I got him.
Okay, I'm gonna sell my sap and trees and stone and fiber. Uh, I'll keep the seeds. Yeah, I think the most questions that my therapist asked during the first session was like, Oh, what do you do in your daily, like, life? What do you feel that you can work on? Describe yourself. But obviously different therapists have different approaches. And there's obviously, like, levels of comfort that individuals feel. So some questions could be more prying and pressing than others. Or to others when... To some, it might not be as. Plus 200, everybody. <laughs> Wait, what is the mission? Getting started. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Okay. Meet everybody in town. Oh, I hate that mission. <clears throat> Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does that sound like you? Well, Piers got you covered. Stop. Stop by Piers General Store today and check out an affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. What is it? <laughs> okay, it's so annoying. Is there a way for me to change where the toolbar lines up? I'll do auto run. The toolbar on the bottom is on the bottom. How do I get it to be on top? Because my, my, my tripod is blocking the bottom part of my screen. And it's really annoying. I don't think you can. Sad. <laughs> Stream's over, yeah. We're never playing this game again. <laughs> Sorry, something's in my nose. My goal right now is just to plant as many crops as I can. That way I can get money fast. <laughs> Stream over, bye! <laughs> I like all types of ice cream. I'm a sucker. I've been- Oh, no way I did that. I've been wanting to get Froyo. I'm trying to convince my friend to go get some this weekend. I think the texture of soft serve is delightful, but I kind of like the bite of traditional ice cream. Should I get soft serve? Cause there's a a froyo place. And it's right by my grocery store. But then it's like 
Imagine taking that home on the bus. Shane! What? What do you want? Go away. Okay. Ooh, buy one eel at three times the market value. Please deliver directly into my hands. Is there a black market for eels here? Wait, I wanted to get one at pizza yesterday, but I was out, but damn, is Pizza Hut not for the Brokies? Do they have ice cream at your guys' Pizza Huts? We don't hear. Dude, I- wait. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> yeah, maybe it's regional. Ours- or mine didn't. I live in Washington. I can understand why ice cream doesn't perform well here, because it's cold. Maybe for dine-in places? Okay, I'm officially a brokey. Dude, the Pizza Hut Cinnabons are so good. They are the best thing ever. Every week, I would buy at least one to take home. Yeah, Keelan is from the UK. I live in a cold state, but we still sell ice cream. Yeah, because there's going to be people like us who want ice cream all year. But that's not like a common thing. Okay, well that's all my seeds. Tub? A tub <laughs> of ice cream? <laughs> Damn. That sounds like a pretty cool pizza hut. Imagine having like soft serve ice cream and then a Cinnabon. Oh my god. <laughs> Not like an actual tub. <laughs> but if they have that in America, then they would offer a massive tub of ice cream here. Have you, have you seen Americans? Yeah, pizza is nasty. I can... No, I cannot vouch. I just- I've just had, um, friends who worked at Pizza Hut, not me. No. -uh. No, Little Caesars is still better. Pizza Hut is not good. Their dough has, like, no flavor. Okay, I'm- I'm getting, like, confused playing because I'm looking at my OBS and I'm looking at my TV because I can't see the... Wait, what if I... Do this. Wait, I'm tall now. It's like I'm so tall! Wait, actually? <laughs> now I can see above my tripod, but it's way too tall. Guys, I'm tall. <laughs> <laughs> this feels so weird. Yeah, anytime I get dominoes, I have really bad... 
um, digestive issues, let's say. So I just don't do it. Okay, I still can't see my tripod. I need to fix this. I'm- I'm getting really annoyed. I'm gonna lower my camera a tiny bit. Don't- I won't drop it, I'm fine. I'm not D-U-M. Change of painting? Okay, this crop isn't bad. I can actually see my goddamn screen now. But change of painting? Thank you for redeeming, Kim. If you don't know, what are these? I've made all these. Ain't that cool? Um, art launch- art website launching next month. You will have a chance to buy these paintings. Ain't that crazy? This design features rainbow colors with a chrome layer of mica powder and varnish. Look at that. It's like a hollow Pokemon card. You can actually see the reflection. Oh, you can at that angle. <laughs> oh, like this one. This one goes crazy. Because different mica powders have different, like, light reflections. This specific mixture is a... I think it has pink, gold, and green mica powders. Wow. Okay, chatters. I wanted to ask you guys. For the giveaway when I launch... This isn't confirmed yet. Wait, I should pause the game. The timer's still running. Okay. When I do a giveaway when I launch the art website, I know for sure I will give away one painting for free. But what if I also gave away a gift card to the website? Is that sufficient? Because I felt bad for just one person winning something, right? It is not an unlimited money hack. It's not. <laughs> yeah, Twitch Mobile ass really bad. Would you guys think a gift card giveaway is good? <laughs> yeah, imagine somebody wins the painting and a gift card. <laughs> oh my God, that'd be horrible. That'd be actually bad. But the the way the gift card would work is that the gift card would only work in my store. So theoretically, if somebody would get a gift card, they would hopefully buy something in the future. Could you repeat the question? Okay, we're gonna do it- or I'm, not we. I'm gonna do a giveaway for when the art website launches for a free painting, and then a gift card possibly. But the gift card... I've also realized that I have to charge for shipping, but... But, and it's a big but. I will still charge free shipping for domestic. You just have to type in a code. Because the code won't automatically apply when you check out. So you have to manually type it in. But I'll have like a banner on top of the web. You guys will see. You'll see. You'll see. I'm working on everything. Behind the scenes. I want to make sure. Because I know I said I would include shipping into the production or the selling price. But that's not how I can list it. There's no way for me to charge free shipping. I have. It's weird. It's weird. Um. Anyway, so basically a painting, a replica painting would char be charged like, I'm still thinking. Because I still want to do like 20, 25 an hour of labor. But then you also have to consider like the time it takes to make the supplies, make the stencils, because I make all the designs into vector images. So, um, oh wait, actually this painting. So this painting I made into a vector image last night. A vector image is an image made of points and lines. That way it can be scaled at any size. So, um, what you call it? 
So I made this into a vector image. I had to make two images, one for stencils to like cut out the large circles, like the lar large circles and the smaller circles inside. So making the vector image took two hours. So even though it took two hours, it wouldn't take me two hours to make this vector image every time I make a replica. So I have to figure out how much I want to charge for just gathering supplies, which includes making vector images and stencils. Why not just give away two paintings? Okay. If I give away one painting, that's minus $150 in labor, right? So, if I give away one painting, one viewer gets very lucky. Very lucky. And then if I give away a gift card, hopefully the person who wins the gift card is somebody who's already going to buy, somebody who's on the fence on buying, or someone who has not even thought about buying, but, oh, oh you know, I got $25, $50 bucks in store credit. Maybe I will buy a painting now. So, giving away a painting for free is just minus profit. Stocks down. Stocks down. But giving away a gift card or store credit can lead to a possible sale. That's why companies offer, um, um, like, 25% off or 50% off in, like, the email notifications, right? So that way, you will, one, click on their site, two, browse a little, most likely use your coupon that you got through your email or the mail, so, because I can make gift cards for however much I want. So maybe, hmm, imagine, because, <laughs> wait, I got to run an ad, guys, talking about uh, making money. <laughs> okay, we're an hour into stream. If you want to avoid that ad, subscribe. If you're non-sub watching, just freaking subscribe. Sorry, I had to do it. I'm two minutes late. Okay, anyway, because um, I had this take a while ago is if you are giving a gift card to somebody, you have to make sure the amount on the gift card is substantial. That's why I think it's really bad and cringe when you get a $5 gift card to Starbucks because $5 will barely buy you a coffee, right? So if I'm going to give away gift cards for the shop, because, okay, a piece like this one, since this one is easier, minimal design, the thing that takes the longest is the actual line art. Because since this design is really simple, you have to make sure the line art is really clean. Versus this one, this one has a lot of detail, a lot of handwork. But since the design is more intricate and small, there could be some allowance of lines not being as clean. You did not get automated. Your message got automatically deleted. Okay. And also this one. This one is simpler, so this one will take not as long to replicate. Based on the actual like line art, right? When I refer to line art, I mean like me hand painting the lines. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, okay. So, basically, a piece like this one would take less time. So, it would cost less than this one. Because this one has a lot more detail. Right? So, this one... Let's throw a number out there. Five hundred dollars. No, that's too much. This one probably, because that one is probably gonna take like five hours total, because it takes. It's a simple design, but it requires multiple layers of paint. So that one is probably gonna be starting. Starting cost like one twenty-five to one fifty. I still have to do the final calculations for every piece, and then something like this since it has more detail. It'll probably be like 150 to 200 range, depending, depending, right? So, main point is, um, because I don't want to like too undervalue the work because even though they're not originals, they're still hand painted replicas. They are not prints, so they are still like all made by hand by me. Um, so theoretically, if a piece costs. 150 to 175 if i offer a 25 to 50 dollar gift card that would be about um like 20 to 20 to 40 percent of the purchasing price right so i feel like that gift card amount is substantial because if you the consumer win a gift card where you're getting like 25 to 45 percent off of the actual full price you're more likely to actually buy like, imagine I gave out $10 gift cards, right? That's not a large enough percentage for you to justify making that purchase. 
Um, this is, I literally have a journal of everything I'm like thinking about and I've written down like everything outlined on like promotion or potential promotions. I also know that I will do like monthly coupon codes that are exclusive to like Twitch chat. I'll also make like Twitter exclusive coupon codes and like Instagram exclusive co coupon codes. I feel like this is an econ class. Okay. You know, it's funny. I've never taken an econ class. But I've taken like marketing, branding, all that type of jazz. So I understand how to market myself. I understand how to build a proficient website, but I don't know like the finance stuff. So I need to like figure out what is best. Okay, guys, thoughts on a gift card alongside a free painting. I'm an econ right now. As <laughs> so I'm completely understanding this. Okay. Okay, so is what- okay, Crystal, is what I'm talking about a good strat? Is it a good strat? I'm gonna be honest, I zoned out. True. Valid. Real and true. The music isn't even playing. Megaphone streamer. For real, it's so- wait, Crystal, answer my question. Is what I'm talking about good? Is it good- is it a good strat? Am I gonna make lots of money? Be honest. It's a hella good strat? Yes! You see, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. It's giving successful businesswoman. Okay, the plan is get, make a million in six months. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not. Imagine how many paintings that would be. Holy. <laughs> Sorry. I was thinking about a very vulgar joke I made to my friend the other day. <laughs> Should I leak? Should I leak? Wait, I gotta see if my door is closed. Because my sister left. Okay, door is closed, everybody. Okay, so the joke I made. Because another one of my friends is like looking for a new job. And we were joking about, you know... Okay, my friend... Because they make 25 an hour. They work in manufacturing, right? Really good job, but it's not necessarily the safest, so they want to find a new job, right? And I was like, okay, you can look at this place or this place. And they were like, and they were looking at the starting wages, and they were like, $20? Not enough. Bro, minimum is 15 here. 15. <laughs> and I was like, you know what you can do to get a job right away? Or negotiate your wages. <laughs> and they were like, you know, <laughs> I can't actually say it word for word, but because <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't. Okay, because like, sorry, I'm actually like, okay, the joke is that you like. I, I don't think I can actually say the phrase, but you know, you can do like, um, favors for like your employer, right? Joking, I'm joking, do not do this, okay? Do not exploit your body for things, okay? Just don't. Anyway, so hold hands, yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I was like, wait, what did I say exactly? Because like, I because I've been telling them about my art business and stuff, right? Okay, I gay bait all the time. I gay bait all the time. Let me let me preface with my friends. I gay bait all the time. Okay. So I was saying, you know, you can like do some favors for your interview person, you know? And then I don't know why I'm covering my mouth. I don't, like it's not going to stop people from clipping. <laughs> um, Guys, I'm joking. Let me preface. This is a joke. And then I was like, you know, I'm about to be a fuck. I was like, I'm about to become a CEO if you catch my drift. Haha, <laughs> wink, wink. Gay baiting. And then they didn't pick up on the joke. And then they replied with, what was it? They were like, oh, you're going to have one lucky boss them implying that I would do favors in this joke scenario. But then I was like, no, the joke is I'm going to be a CEO and then we gay bait. Come on. Anyway, th sorry. Was that a good? <laughs> was that? No, I'm not trying to bang. Incel arc. <clears throat> For real? Guys, do you not gay bait with your friends? Do you not think it's funny? Is it- is it bad? I hate to say that I'd be throwing the same thing to my crush to throw hints. Do it more if they, like, pick up on it. 
I gotta be more straightforward, Shrew. It always goes over their head. Okay, they're just clueless. Let's play the game. This has been like a 20 minute side tangent. Thank you for changing the painting, Kim. Okay, now I can see. <clears throat> Okay, so my strat for launching the website, I think I have a pretty good marketing plan. The only thing I'm concerned about, oh, my inventory's full, um, is consistently posting content. That's the only thing I'm kind of scared of, because I think the formula of doing the speed paintings is the way to go. Because <clears throat> I think using the brand of relatable like heartfelt content is a good way to build an audience that cares about you what do you guys talk i'm little i literally don't know what you guys are talking about i'm clueless no are you guys making jokes about corn PG-13 chat, everybody. <laughs> Guys, stop. Wait, is Kobobo a VIP? Wait. Wait, pause. Did I not VIP Kobobo? Oh my god, I'm sorry, Kobobo. Because Kobobo got top clipper. I was scamming for two weeks. Uh oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if they're in chat, but oopsie. I'm sorry, cancel me. Why did you randomly think about that? Because um, in your mod view, you can see a list of your active moderators, VIPs, and um, active viewers. And I looked over, I was like, why is Kobobo not a VIP? I was like, oh, I just didn't change their role. Um, if Kobobo is watching, or if they're gone, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was so not playing Mario Kart, and I recorded, and you were intrigued. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I think the next day, since the shop is closed, I will get my fishing rod and my sword. Oh! Okay, those are kind of scary. <laughs> Me with my TA? Uh oh. Drama. Guys, I would never be a TA or a teacher. <laughs> I can't leak. Yeah, don't leak. That could be a crime. Guys, just because it's a sub only stream doesn't mean you can leak everything. Ooh, rainy day. Ooh, what's a good Starbucks order? Hmm. My usual go-to is a dragon fruit refresher. But that's because I love fruit drinks. I'm a sucker for sugar. But then I found out that it has caffeine in it. So I don't know how to order it without caffeine. Wait! Okay, pause. See how my tool is at- my toolbar is at the top? Can I change that now?
Lock toolbar. No. Don't tell me it locks it on the bottom. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> Since you live in Washington, have you gone to the first Starbucks? No. I'm not a simp for Starbucks. Or capitalism. Oh, yeah, the caramel frappe used to be my go-to, but then I thought about, like, how much sugar is in it, and then I got really sad. Or, I usually would get, like, a white chocolate mocha, too. That's pretty solid. But I get the decaf version. <gasps> Lore? <clears throat> Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Uh, I'm still trying to unwind from my mouth out on that salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, you might. Maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. See, this is the strat. You give somebody something for free, they come back, they buy more junk. Econ 101. I don't know any of the characters, so best believe I'll be judging. Willie's pretty nice. <laughs> After being in this chat for a while, I have learned I am really anti-social person IRL, and I don't do all the stuff you cool kids be doing. I mean, you are in Twitch chat. I feel like everybody watching a Twitch stream is anti-social to some capacity. Because... If you are active in a Twitch chat, you expect the broadcaster to reply to your message directly. It's different if it's a small stream like this one. But you guys know I ignore some messages, right? So you guys are typing away, having fun, telling me shit, and then I just ignore it sometimes. Not on purpose, because I read every message, okay? I promise. I just don't read every message out loud. Wait, what did Kim say? <laughs> smash? They say that all the time. I swear every other message written by Kim is smash. The cool kids don't sit on Twitch chat all day, but what if they're like a, a Kai Sinet viewer? Kai is cool, right? <clears throat> you received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old papi used to say anyway, before he died. Well, his shop's not open today. Why is he moving like that? Because he's drunk. Oh, I need... I need a bigger inventory. Yeah, I think I'll go with the Jojo wrap this save, because I've never tried it. I don't know exactly how to do it. I just feel like I need to ignore the community center at all times, though. Oh, wait, what? Damn. Who is this guy, though? New BF? No, don't skip school, everybody. Don't skip school. Yeah, don't skip school. If you started school, you might as well finish it. Minus 10k. Uh, 
Um, go to school but keep the stream open. I think that's the best route. I haven't missed one day of school this year. Good job. Shoutouts. RIP. Hi, Ethan. You can't chat. <laughs> um, you can sub with Prime, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait. I should disable that channel player redemption. You just reminded me. I'm supposed to disable that. Oh, shit. I can't. Yeah, imagine being non-sub. I'm sorry, I have to disable it. I forgot that I need to for these streams. P no, it's not that I'm ruthless. Imagine we get a random, like, hate follow, and then they say bad words. I forgot. R.I.P. No, I can't refund it. Oh, wait, that was calligraphy. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, never mind. The calligraphy is fine. <laughs> I thought... Never mind. I thought you redeemed highlight my message. Oh, my God. Hi, Taylor. Can we get some peace? I two yo's. Welcome in. Hi, Taylor. <clears throat> oh, I did not pause the game. Again. Awkward. Yeah, I don't think I've ever skipped school in high school. It, there's been a few, like, college classes since it's online. I would just not do the work, and that was considered, like, skipping class, right? But I don't do that anymore. Smile, because if I do that, I will be mandated to drop out. Smile. <laughs> because what I did because... About a year ago, there was a six-month period to where I just didn't do homework, so I essentially failed six classes in a row. And what I didn't realize is that, is that I could have just, like, pulled myself out of the classes instead of failing. So all of those six classes that I basically didn't show up to, I failed, and then it ruined my GPA. So, I basically just fucked myself. <laughs> So because of that, since I failed six classes, I can't get lower than a C in any other class I, I've taken for the past year, which I've been able to do. Because um, I'm actually trying now. But yeah. If you feel like you're struggling with the classes, always reach out to your counselors or your professors, that type of thing. There are resources in place for most any higher level of education to like make sure you succeed. So... Proud of you, Peace. Thank you. I did get a 99.75 in my last class, and I was so happy. I literally didn't get 100 because there was one assignment where it was worth 1% of your grade, and it was just like an entry-level knowledge test, like the first assignment of the class. And I got like a 50 on it, so I got like minus half a percent. She said in curves? No. Not gonna lie, man. Past few classes have been really easy. She's serving your honor. <laughs> yeah, I'm just selling these. I don't care. Yeah, like I said, if you feel like you're struggling, reach out to your school counselors. There are resources in place. I was almost assigned a tutor, but then I was like, nah, I don't need no tutor. Because it's not that I didn't know how to do the work, it's just I didn't feel motivated to, like, do anything. 
Because, you know, espresso depresso. <gasps> A geode! Oh, wait, I can craft. Wait, how do I craft again? Oh, right here. Oh, I just sold my wood. Damn. You gotta talk to Clint? Clint Stevens? Okay, I forgot that I can craft in this game. Because <laughs> I haven't played in a year. Tip, make friends to help out with classworks. Um, it's very hard for me to connect with other students because it's fully online. Like, I promise, if I did in-person classes, I would have so many friends. I'm so charismatic. But then I wouldn't be able to stream. But then I'm also fake as frick. So I wouldn't be able to keep any friends that I make. I think the easiest way to start getting over your social anxiety is to stop telling yourself that you're bad. Like, you just have to have a little bit more faith and confidence in yourself. Oh, no. And gradually, you will build that confidence. I agree, fake it. I think faking it to some degree is good. Oh, no! Oh, shoot. Oh my god. Dude, I'm forgetting all the controls. There we go. You've never worn on your character to exhaustion? I do it all the time because I, I just forget. Dude, I'm so tired. I'm, like, falling asleep. <clears throat> I'm a pretty social person. Not necessarily extroverted, but I'm definitely not an introvert. However, romantically, I'm super reserved. That's where I fall short. I mean, that just comes with experience, not gonna lie. Because, um... Not to say that I was a flirt before, but I feel like once you experience a relationship, you do gain a bit more confidence. Like... When I was with uh, my previous partner, like, I felt so much more confident in my looks, in my ability to feel and, I guess, appear attractive to other people. I definitely felt more confident, like, personality-wise, but you should never rely just on your partner to feel that way. Oh, I'm sorry, Mac. I'm sorry, hon. That's kind of like how I am and was. Because I don't have many friends. <laughs> and it bothers me sometimes, but then it's like... Ooh, level up forging! Trees sometimes drop seeds, new crafting recipe wild seeds, and new crafting recipe field snack. I'm kind of used to it, dude, for real, for real. On God, on God. But you have friends in the Twitch chat, right? I'm kidding. But I, I get it. <laughs> Living off the land. Oh, welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now, listen up. This one's for you folks living in Sardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Oh wait, I should check that actually. Would chat count as mutuals to each other? Kinda. Maybe. I mean, I know some of you guys follow each other on Twitter. I know that. Don't ask me how I know. Thank you for the light crystal. T 
Okay, my goal this first month is to clear out this whole area. very differently than how I would have imagined. Is that good or bad? Is that a compliment? It's not bad. Am I playing bad? Anytime that I've played this game, I usually just chill the first year and then I try hard year two. Yeah, when I when I think about my, like my Twitter followers, I just ban anybody who's like a GFX or an art account. I'm just like, this is a bot follow. I don't need bot follows. Because I don't want to be a Twitter account that has like 10k followers and like five likes on every tweet. I think that's so cringe. Mega dance. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of something funny. Oh my god, I'm out of energy. Can I buy food? Plus one. Yeah, literally Keelan and then I think Chris just repost my tweets. <laughs> Which is cute. We love fan accounts. Oh my god, hi Chris. What? Dude, I say your name and you spawn. What the fuck? I mean, what the frick? Hi Chris. <laughs> Awkward. I was 2000? I was not talking shit. I just realized my inventory is full. I can't buy anything. I'm literally wasting an hour. It takes me an hour to walk to the store. Wait, if I just say random chatter's names, do they spawn? Do they come out of the woodworks? Um, who should I call out? <laughs> no, calling out lurkers is bad, everybody. Don't do it. Unless... Um, Stardew Valley tip number 365. When you see these little squigglies, they're secrets. Whoa, I got play. Another reason why I was thinking about Stardew Valley is I've gotten, like, a few gaming tip videos on my For You page. I'm like, hmm, maybe I should try Stardew Valley again. But the thing is, I don't remember what half of the tips are. All, the only thing I kind of remember is that there's like some shortcuts or something. You can see here retweets your tweets. Yeah, it comes up in my notifications. Because I can see who likes retweets and replies to my tweets but you can always filter what type of notifications you get people usually just look at what replies they get but i like to see who retweets what tweet that way i can <gasps> oh my god that way i can see which tweets are good for shareable content <clears throat> versus content that is good for farming replies or farming likes that type of thing even though i get very little engagement in the when compared to like a larger creator i still like to keep note and look for patterns. I'm very analytical. Just in general. <laughs> Haley! I think I pursued Haley on my old stream save, actually. <clears throat> oh! You're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? 
Do you stalk people's profiles? Not really. The only time I will look at people's profiles is when um, I get a new follow. And then I just look at their profile to see if it's sus or not. But otherwise, I don't really stock profiles. Yeah, Max was kind of sus, but I recognized the user and I was like, okay, I'll let this one slide. Oh, I have no energy. Oh, why could it? Wait, can I grab the dandelion again? Oh, that gave me nothing. <laughs> Does that mean you saw mine? Yeah. I mean, just because I look at profiles doesn't mean I'm gonna like do anything. I'm just trying to see if they're like weirdos or not. Did you inspect my TikTok? No. Whenever I get a new TikTok follower, I just don't care. <laughs> because... Okay, let me explain this without... <gasps> sounding mean. But since I have so many followers, they don't... They don't, like... They don't hit the same. You know what I mean? Because I usually get, like, a... Like, two or three every day on TikTok, and they're just like, cool. Because, like, people treat TikTok like, like, I swear to God, so many of my TikTok followers are, like, all accounts. One was, like, Mario's used tampon, and that was their username. So, I don't really look at TikTok profiles. The only accounts that I look at whenever I get new followers are, are Twitter. Because I have to take in consideration if, uh, if somebody's in my Twitter replies and I respond to them, and they're like actually like a bigot or something. Because there's been like a few people who are regulars in some people's replies that I follow. And they're like fucking weirdos. Freaking. Or like they're kind of like actually really hateful people. And it's just like I don't want to be interacting with somebody. That's why I usually people profile before I reply to stuff unless I know them. When you're on private, so peace in can't st No, I'm not stalking. I just glance at profiles. Jeez. And then I look at Max's profile to see if they have any new wand posts. <laughs> okay, Leia. I've pursued Leia. I like her story. And she's an artist just like me. Hello. It's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Hello, Leia. I think for this save, I'm not gonna bang anybody. I want the game to mimic my life, everybody. Oh, no way. I think this save, I'm just gonna go full incel and not talk to anybody. Unless I have to. I'm gonna be a recluse just like real life in game. <laughs> Who's your favorite person to pursue? After me, of course. Says the guy who has somebody they're dating already. Ew. <laughs> but I usually go for Abigail because I'm basic and then Leia's pretty cute. I will never pursue a guy in game because, you know, I just like to live with my fantasies of having a real GF. I find Stardew Valley better than Animal Crossing. I kind of agree, but I feel like I've played Stardew Valley so much that it just doesn't hit the same. That's also kind of why I took a month break for Animal Crossing on stream. You kind of got to give yourself a little, like, space to breathe. I'm showing my Riz, that's all. Yeah, chatters, take notes.
Let me preface, only the girlies can flirt with me. No, I don't want any men. Ew. Your breath is probably real strong after that. Okay. My sense of smell isn't really good. Like, I've never been able to smell well. That's why I think I don't, I'm don't. i not able to taste well. So bad breath doesn't bother me that much. And there's been times where, like, I can't smell my own breath. And I've been like... Yeah. <laughs> I have been talking to people with hot breath. That's why, like, anytime I know I'm going to go out in public... Or, like, hang out with a friend. I just pop in, like, an Altoid, and then I'm set. If I had an option, I'd pursue the men. You know, I like everybody, and you can like whoever you want to like. It's almost 10 here. Dude, it's 6.30. It's way too bright right now. It does not feel like 6.30 p.m. Oh, come on. One a.m. I always go for Athlax or Alex. Oh wait, I thought you were. You know that one commercial with the goose. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I had no idea why I thought that in my head. It made sense. That was so random. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, am I funny? Type one. Zero? Okay. <laughs> I'll accept that. Why are you guys so mean to me during a sub-only stream? I work so hard. Actually, I don't. <laughs> Streaming? Okay. It's not that streaming- Oh, come on. I have no food. No way. Oh my god. It's not that streaming is difficult. I feel like... Okay. Take this with a grain of salt. Controversial, but true take. I think streaming is difficult to be good at. Because I feel like there's a lot of mid-creators. Even I even swing the scythe too slow. Be okay, because I feel like I try to be funny. I try to commentate as much as I can. I try to avoid dead air. Um, would you consider yourself mid? That is a difficult question because it's all subjective, right? I need, I need to think about how to word this. Because obviously... I am able to have a baseline viewership for any stream I do, right? But I have not been able to grow. Like, it's been a long time since I've peaked over 20 viewers. So, it, you can bring up the argument of, you know, I know how to make a base audience, but I don't know how to expand on it. And I feel like if I had the money to, like, um, afford an editor 
or have money to where I didn't have to worry about spending my time adequately, then I feel like I could first, then I could make good things. But do I think I am mid content wise? Yes. Because there is nothing that I've done is like that is too crazy or too monumental or too innovative. Because the way I see stream content in general is you have to make sure that most every moment is enjoyable to some capacity. Whether it be like how you're reacting, how um, you're commentating, how you are interacting with your chat room, your actual gameplay being substantial. So my main focus right now is just making sure the actual, any stream I do is good. Like I never want to end stream and be like, oh, that was a bad stream. It's been a long time since I've felt that way. It's been about a year since I've felt like I've had a bad stream. I genuinely have felt that like every stream has been a good and enjoyable experience to anybody who was there during the live, right? So in that context, I don't think my stream content is mid because it's still happy, it's still fun, it's still enjoyable. I, I think my niche is like feel good content, right? I don't want anybody to leave stream feeling bad about themselves or not feeling like they didn't have fun to some capacity. So I think keeping that core value will hurt my ability to grow because it's not focusing on like offline content or focusing on engaging with people offline. But my main focus will always be to make the stream or any live content I do be enjoyable for people who are watching lurking or just even me myself broadcasting. Um, we come back to stream though, but we need, not that we need, in order for me to make this substantial, I need to garnish a larger platform. So somebody from an, oh no, this is bad. Oh no, I'm not even going to be able to get to walk away home. <laughs> Maybe I just tank, I'll just tank. See, look, he's not even hitting me. I'm saved. What happens if we reach a sub goal during a sub stream? Um, then I will stream all night long. Mm-hmm. Real not totally real not fake. Yeah, 24 hour stream incoming, everybody. So I think from an outside perspective, what I do or my stream content is mid, but for people who are active in chat, for people who actively watch streams, it's probably more enjoyable for you. <laughs> yeah, they can't type. <laughs> <laughs> Any non-subs want a sub? Okay. Kim, are you willing to offer a non-sub a sub? I will unleash the non-subs for one minute. So they can type. Any, If you are willing to donate, then I will unleash them. Oh. Why are you making me gift? <laughs> Wrong one? That's okay. Who who do you want the sub to go to? Are there any non-subs in chat? Wait, let me see. Okay. First, non-subs the type will get a gifted sub from me. Great, I thought I'd be up another five bucks. Okay, you guys have one minute. Y'all better not say anything bad. Mod check Ethan? <laughs> Is Ethan still here? First, non-sub to chat. Yeah, come back, Ethan. <laughs> Wait, let me see. I'm going through the user list to see if anybody is a non-sub. Okay, you guys, we shit on the non-subs when they watch a sub-only stream. You guys know that. So why would they be watching when we shit on them all the time? Guys. Okay, I went through the user list. Literally everybody is a sub. 
Okay, I'm gonna do the unthinkable. We're gonna gift Ethan a sub because they technically typed earlier. Shut up, I do have two laptops. Shut up. I do- yes, I do have two laptops and two phones. Okay, sub only chat. To make Mac shut up. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yes, I do have two laptops. But technically, this laptop was part of my school tuition, so I still paid for it. Why did you pick that detail? Because I like the theme of nature versus technology. I think it's a really cool theme. <laughs> I almost clicked the band button. Uh-huh. Okay, it's processing. There we go, holy moly! Thank you, Peace and Art, for that gifted sub! Yeah, can we get- Everybody, since I gifted for my alt channel, can you please follow my art channel? It's tagged in my title, please. I need to make back that $5. Um, but thank you, Kim, for redeeming with your channel points. Ethan can now type in chat if they come back. Plus one. Yes, everybody go follow the art channel. Please go follow the art TikTok, please. I'll start posting on it. Um, soon. I literally filmed so much, like, B-roll footage for another speed painting, but then I messed up the painting. Would you ever make a ban me reward? Probably not, because I feel like if I did it, I would forget to unban them. No, do not say bad words in the chat. Do not say bad words. <clears throat> Ooh, Jojo Mart is open. To our valued Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the Mountain Lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursuant to initial L61091 Joja Co. Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. Ginger Mart blames the consumers on global warming. I mean, who else are we going to blame for global warming if not the big corpo, but the actual people who don't recycle every day? Only chat. <laughs> Have fun, everybody. Everybody, put your favorite emotes in the chat room. Your favorite sub, your favorite follower. The thing I love about emo only chat is that I don't have to actually focus on chat. I can actually play the game for once.
<laughs> Lore? <clears throat> oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it. It's shameful. These days the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. The Zoomers are ruining the world? But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. Yeah, because you are. Jojo Corporation has been haunting me to sell them the house so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. Okay, let's seriously think about it. If they make it into a warehouse, then this town will become like a... Oh, what's it called? It's the type of towns where people move there to work there, right? So it's not that it's bad, but hopefully it will garnish more tax money for the actual city to, like, build another community center that's better and renovated. Right? Do I- am I sounding like a lib right now? Type 1? Oh wait, you can't. <laughs> if anyone else buys the Jojo Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. And that'll be me. Here, let's go inside. Dude, I'm gonna buy the membership? I'm gonna make this town boom, stocks go up. Don't please I do, bro. This is the way to go. I love capitalism. Smile. Hmm. What's this? I guess Vincent and Jas must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated. <laughs> what is that word? Dilapidated than I remember. What? Guys, I'm schizophrenic. In game. Maybe IRL, we don't know yet. Sub only stream, sub only stream. Oh no. What's the matter? Are you ill? Yeah, mentally. <laughs> sorry, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bad jokes, guys. Bad jokes. Sub only stream. <laughs> you saw something, huh? I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. You're worrying me, Peason. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can catch that rat if you have some extra time. Jeez. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further, but I won't because I love capitalism. And you know what else I love about capitalism? How it makes me run ads. Because, Chatters, we are two hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. You can keep your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. If you're not sub watching a subway stream, just subscribe. Easy clap. You can sub for free with Prime by linking Amazon Prime to your Twitch. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, I will keep on playing for probably another hour. That was the longest five minutes ever? I can't think of a good your mom joke that is not insulting me, so... Good one, Shatter. Wait, I gotta run the ad. Awkward. Imagine not running the ad. Do you like this angle? I, I feel like this angle makes my arms look big, but I like how it shows more of like my shirt. <laughs> Kim confuses me? Yeah, me too, man. I 
I just need to figure out how to get my TV higher. Like, on my dresser. Yeah. No, it is mounted. It's just there's like a limit to how high the mount can go. It's at the highest setting it can be right now. Okay, see you in a bit, Mac. Oh, I'm a brokey. Should have kept the higher level vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna see if anything is for sale at the Joja Mart because we love corporate. I love exploiting labor. Join us. Th Wait, this is where I used to work. I used to work for literal Joja Corporate in the lore. Welcome to Joja Mark. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transaction a joyous experience. Welcome to Joja Mark. How are you doing today? Membership is now available. With a Joja membership, you'll be able to make improvements to the community with the help of our dedicated personnel. For a fee, of course. Wait, is this? I was gonna say, is this communism? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Oh, and another thing. Mayor Lewis promised us that if we had anyone else join up, he'd let us turn the old community center to a Joja warehouse. Isn't that wonderful? Membership costs five thousand dollars. Would you like to join us? Not right now. Damn. Ooh, parsnip seeds are five dollars higher here. Hmm, it's almost like we're paying for a brand name product. Hmm. I'll buy some soda pops. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. I wish they had more products for sale. Oh, I should have- oh wait. In order to break the geodes, you need money and I don't have money. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna farm money until I can get my Joja membership and then see what happens next. Because, okay, no spoilers, everybody, no spoilers. But I literally don't know what happens. I, whenever I play a game, I usually don't look up, like, alternate endings on YouTube or any of that. Because I just like to imagine what my genuine experience will be. The only time that I will look up, like, alternate endings if, is if it's, like, a story game. Like, you know, like, Telltale or... What's the one that came out? Detroit Becomes Human. Oh my god, hi, Ethan! Somebody used their- Kim used their channel points to gift you a sub. So enjoy the gifted sub, man. You get to type. You, get, you actually get to talk properly now. <laughs> but hi, Ethan. Now you are forever in debt to Kim.
I owe you my wife? Huh? Uh oh. Okay, this soda gives me like no energy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I know I flirt with Chad, but I'm a pass. <laughs> yeah, Kim already has a partner. They're good. Bunny. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't get why everybody sims over little Pony. My favorite Pokemon is, and then I just couldn't think of a good Pokemon. Cause okay, I feel like the ones that people bring up all the time is Vaporeon and then Lil Putty, and that's it. Maybe Garnivore, is that what it's called? Yeah, Garnivore. Not God of War, Garnivore. Mewtwo? <laughs> no. Oh, come on. I always forget to empty my inventory. Togepi? Ew. They're a literal baby. Mods, keep an eye on Globobo. Take away their VIP. Snorlax? You want to be actually crushed? good Pokemon? You know what we're talking about. I mean, Mewtwo has, can speak English, even if he doesn't have... <laughs> have you seen that, too? <laughs> um, no, I think I'm good. <laughs> you know, I don't even like to entertain the idea of banging a Pokemon. I think I am good. I can I can make this field snack out of seeds. I've never made one of these before. But 45 energy? Holy moly. Dude, 
these field snacks are crazy. I didn't know this was an item in game. Contrary to popular belief, I am not a gamer. We all have that phase sooner or later. You know, I only watched Pokemon when I was little, like five. And then I only played a Pokemon game when I was like 19. Besides the Weave one. You're a pro gamer? Thank you. I was doing really well in Mario Kart earlier today though. Like actually. I was what the kiddos would say, correct. What Pokemon game did you play? I played Pokebark on the Wii when I was like 10. And then the only like real Pokemon game I played was Pokemon Sword. But my friend bought it for me when I was like 20. Other than that, I've never played a real Pokemon game. And then I and then that same friend bought me um What's the one that just came out? Oh, Pokemon Violet for Christmas this year. And I haven't played it since January because I got burnt out on it. You need to play the Pokemon on the DS? Well, I need to get a DS first. That's mission number one. I wanted a DS so bad, but my mom never got it for me or my sister. DS streams would go crazy. I think so too. Because I think in order to capture a DS gameplay, you just need to have it, like, manually plugged in with cables. Kind of like the Switch, you can't play handheld. Oh wait, no, you'd have- You'd have to play handheld because it's a DS, but you'd have to be, like, attached to the cord. I didn't know that letting Ethan talk <laughs> would be us talking about smashing Pokemon. Yeah, Ethan is a toss-up. Okay. Ethan has gotten better, because Ethan's arc is, let me explain, the cliche one viewer Andy chatter. They troll, debatably a bad chatter for a long time, and then Ethan would come in, talk about my most recent TikTok, like, just, like if it was a TikTok talking about a dog, they'd be like, oh, what about dogs, eh? And then Ethan is now a good chatter. <laughs> Hey, I was nice that one time. No, you've been a lot more nice recently. And I think it's because you're scared. Because I have more viewers now than I did like six months ago. Ethan's like, ooh, I gotta behave. That's also why I kind of find it funny when people will, like, misbehave in a large streamer's chat. It's just like, do you think you won't get banned when they have, like, 10k viewers and probably, like, 20 mods in their chat at any given time? So it's like, why do you think you can misbehave? I can understand why people think they can act up in a small chat. Because usually they don't have mods or people don't know how to use auto mod properly or they just don't even enable it. But... It's silly, because I, I see people saying dumb shit all the time in, like, a songs chat or any big streamer's chat. How many mods can you have? I think you can have literally infinite mods on Twitch. I don't think there's a cap. There's a cap how many VIPs you can have, but I think there's no, many, no cap how many mods you can have. Maybe you just got used to me? Probably. I just got used to the hate. Um, Meg Phone Streamer. Meg Phone Streamer. Hmm. <sighs>
Okay, I'm done. You guys want to know why I disabled highlight my chat message and why certain channel point names or redemptions, like, you know, in the bottom right of your chat, are disabled? Okay, this person is not in chat, I don't think. Sub only stream, sub only stream. But an hour ago, we had a user who made their account an hour ago followed an hour ago and their username is dirty tampon <laughs> the attention it doesn't they're not in chat so they're not watching i can see if people are in chat or not <laughs> so <laughs> it's funny because one so only stream and even in a normal stream follow only chat like bro made an account right away <laughs> Because when they followed, I, whenever I get a new follow, I click on the user card to see when they made their account to see if they're like a bot or not. Um, and it literally said account made less than one minute to go following less than a minute ago. <laughs> so obviously this is a bot account. <laughs> but it's so funny. Because there's been only one time where a new follow had a vulgar name and used a channel point to have their name show up in chat on screen. Hate watcher, maybe they're like peace and seventy is doing too many subscriber only streams, and I'm a pro key, so I can't watch, so I'm gonna make an alt. But you realize if you make an alt, then there's a way for the streamer to see that it's an alt account, even if you um make an alt account based on your IP. Like how it works is. Let's say I have my main account. Because you know how I have this account, Peace and Art, and Peace and... Or Meg Esports? Those are those two are technically alt account, right? So whenever I type in a new chat, it probably highlights my message as a suspicious user. Because they're all on the same IP, because it's the same address. Um, it was probably when you talked about Mario's... Or, no, it was I mentioned that story after. Because <laughs> that's why I thought about that story. But anyway, so even if that person comes back on their main account, if it is a real person, I can tell because their user gets highlighted in my chat view. So just don't don't make it all to shit on me. Like streamers can tell there are safeguards in place to where we can literally tell if you have an alt account. Even if you're using your main, we can literally tell. Anyway, PSA, don't be a shithead. I will know when you get insta banned. Easy. <clears throat> because I think with my chattings any with my chat settings anybody who is marked as a suspicious user cannot chat or anytime they try to chat their message has to be approved meaning only me and mods can see it okay level one farming water can proficiency and hoe proficiency ayo I can now make scarecrows and basic fertilizer I know a lot of people shit on Twitch for, like, their, um, lack of, wait, what's the right way to word it? I feel like people don't have a valid reason to shit on Twitch moderation because there are so many tools and safeguards in place that were launched this past year. There was Shield View. There is Sub Only, Emote Only Chat. You can also change oh my god there's too many missions <laughs> you can also enable how soon new followers can chat there are so many safeguards in place it's just people don't use them and i've gotten criticism from other small streamers and who are like you know the reason why you're not growing is because you have those safeguards in place you need to allow people to chat if you want them to follow but it's like I literally haven't had any issues since using the safeguards. <laughs> what just happened? Um, watch the VOD. Oh wait, there's no VOD. <laughs> uh, anyway, I was saying, there's somebody who followed an hour ago who had a sus username and then I just insta-banned them. 
And then I was explaining how if you make an alt account, people can... I can easily see that you're using an alt. <clears throat> okay. Dear Farmer Peason, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's a really nice house. However, you might need some more space someday. <laughs> Dude, these small business owners trying to take my house away. They're not taking my house away. Trying to sell me renovations. However, you might need some space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. Continue to our next page. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With the kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you learn. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Small business owners need to be stopped. Myself included. And my ring light is way too bright. I'm gonna turn it... Grandpa passed on to the big farmhouse in the sky. That is true, very real and true. <clears throat> Let's see, it's Saturday. How am I gonna get money? It takes so long to make money in the early game. Hopefully they got him a better bed. Yeah, I hope he got like, a nice, cooling, memory foam mattress. I think the things I want to save up for are a weighted blanket, a new mattress. Bega okay. Uh, I think two years ago now, because I got this bed when pandemic had just about started. Wait, no. After a year p after pandemic, sorry. Because it's 2023. Pandemic started in 2020. Aware. Um, I got, like, a, a really soft memory foam mattress. But the problem is... I sleep in the center. So, like, the mattress dips like this in the center. It's so bad. So, I want to get a new one. I mean, it's not like anybody's using the bed with me, so it doesn't matter. But it's kind of, like, messing up my bed frame. Because the way my bed frame is, um, there's like these row of metal planks. And since I lay in the middle of the bed, it shifts the planks around. And there's been a few times where like the planks will fall out as I'm sleeping and it scares me. Um, so I want to get a new mattress. So minus 1k. And then I want to get a weighted blanket. I think I would like a weighted blanket because I will sleep with... <gasps> Ooh! You found an artifact. The curator of a local museum might want to know about this. I went to a liquidation store in Washington and they had a weighted blankets unopened discount. Hmm. My friend said they'd buy me one for my birthday though. So I don't know. Is this Pierre? Oh no, that's Harvey. <laughs> Oopsie. <clears throat> Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Ignore my advice. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Really. No, I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. I remember there was... There's... I remember there being a conspiracy theory on mattress friends because there's so many of them. Yeah. Um, money laundering. Yes. I think... I genuinely think that's real. <laughs> Same thing with, like, kitchens, too. Where you can just deposit money and say it's real I think it's real okay my joy-con is loose there we go what's your favorite conspiracy theory um none because once you dabble in conspiracy theory even if it's like a really harmless one it's gonna lead to extremism. Mine is that birds aren't real. Isn't that like a group that makes fun of conspiracy and how easily people are susceptible to them? Anyway. 
I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> it's kind of like an anti-movement, right? Alex. Hey. You're the new girl, huh? Why does the voice sound like that? Ew. I think we're gonna get... I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. Is he gonna smash? I'll see you around. Ooh, he's playing hard to get. I like that. Wait, where am I going? Wait, I'm going to buy some seeds. No, but I don't believe in any conspiracy theories. Like, genuinely, I don't. I think it's because I have blind faith in most anything that is, like, thoroughly documented or recorded. Because the way that conspiracies work is that there is usually one little aspect of truth. And then people who use it to... Um, manipulate and make and make people extremists is they use that one little crumb of truth to get people to justify radical movements. I like conspiracies for fun. Yeah, I agree. I think some are fun. But I think most of them are harmful. Anyway, just don't fall into the YouTube conspiracy rabbit hole. You will never come back. I've never heard the Curious George tale thing. I literally have never heard it. Water party went down the rabbit hole, then GG's B side 27 by Kobobo. <laughs> RIP. <laughs> Curious George. All I remember is the books. But why would he not have a tail? Okay, all this conspiracy talk is giving me an actual headache. No joke. I don't know if it's my big brain or the topic. And I'm not just saying that to change the subject, I do feel a headache coming on. <laughs> oh, it is because I didn't eat dinner. Oopsie, I I'm like... Because I ate at three. Yeah, so I should be eating dinner. <laughs> Oopsie, guys, I will eat right after I answer my promise. And I'm gonna eat more of that pizza. Spicy nuggets or regular? I don't like things that are spicy. I especially don't like things that are peppery. So I usually don't like any iteration of spicy nuggets. A boneless pizza? Okay, there was a promotional item that Little Caesars had like two years ago. And it had a white sauce and then like chicken nugget pieces and it was so good. I want them to bring it back.
I feel like that's every little kid's dream and streamer's dream. Because the only thing we eat is mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. I can't believe people eat Little Caesars. Dude, it's good. And food tastes good when it's cheap and you feel like it's a value. Why do people grocery shop at the dollar store? Because they feel like it has value. They feel like they're saving money. Mac and cheese pizza is so odd. Wait, what? I've never heard of that. Okay, I'm going to put my fishing rod in my inventory because I, I don't want to fish. Fishing is fun in the game, but it's genuinely frustrating sometimes. So I'm, I'm just not going to fish. You heard it here, folks. Fishing is cancelled. I've never heard of CC's. Is it a regional chain? Yeah, I agree. The fishing in game stresses me out because I get sad thinking about the fishes I miss when I don't catch them. I'm like, ooh, was it actually a good one? Or like a purple starfish? What about John's Incredible Pizza? That sounds like an independent chain. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Everybody, step it up for John's Incredible Pizza. Running out of energy. Oh, Papa John's? Oh, I'm clueless. <laughs> I haven't had Papa John's in a long time. And not because of his races. <laughs> it was just a bit too high price point for our family. Because whenever we would get pizza, my parents would always get Little Caesars. And sometimes my dad did like independent office work for... Or repair work, sorry. For like Pizza Huts. So they would always give him like a free pizza whenever he worked with them. Oh wait, John's Incredible Pizza is an actual place you weren't trolling? <laughs> Nice. Wait, Chatters, we hit our follower goal. Ain't no way. Let's go. John's Incredible Pizza is actually incredible. I don't think I can ever justify buying really expensive, like, high-end restaurant pizza. Because if you think about it, pizza is just dough, sauce, and topping. 
And I don't, I think there's a level to how bougie you can get with a pizza without it being, like, too expensive. I think the fanciest pizza I had, it was like $20 for like an 8 inch. And my sister and I got it at like an Italian place. It was just dough, pesto sauce, shrimp, and cheese. Because that's literally all she wanted on the pizza. No veggies, no nothing. So I've never had the opportunity to try really nice pizza. Because I don't have a sugar mama. Any uh, mamas in chat? <laughs> Ooh, level one mining. Oh wait, I can check on the mines. I forgot. Because it's now blocked after that earthquake. Oh wait, there's an alien. There was an alien on screen. Was that another Chinese spy balloon? Oh, topical joke. <laughs> But Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as a convenient place to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stone and a thousand gold when you're ready for it. Robin. Dude, she keeps selling me shit. I don't want any of it. Oh, wait. I should be making fertilizer. I forgot. Let's see. What do I need? Sap. I should, I should have been making fertilizer this whole time. Oh my god. I haven't played in a year, guys. I'm rusty. I should not go to the store now. Dude, I'm forgetting how to play the game. <laughs> Year one is always a mess. It's not just me, right? Didn't she used to play this game as a weekly? No, I played this game, like, every day. Because the usual... The old stream format used to be I would play a game for an hour and then draw for an hour or two. So <laughs> I think my games when I first started streaming were Mario Kart, Stardew Valley, and that was it. Because I started playing Animal Crossing once I became an affiliate. And then yeah, the only games I played when I first started streaming were uh, Mario Kart and Stardew Valley because I didn't have like money to buy new games So basically I was playing dead games when I started and I wonder why I had no viewers What do you think of celebrity meals? I think they're fine. They're gimmicky and fun But I feel like most celebrity meals they just highlight like the the worst menu item and make it a combo just to sell more combos and the reason why they always want to sell more combos is because they make the most money off of like fountain drinks or fries because those are like bought in bulk like literally buying a syrup bib if you guys have worked in fast food any soda pop it's just syrup and then soda water buying a bib because when i worked at subway can i say the price Buying, like, a two-and-a-half-gallon bib cost, like, $25, and that would last us, like, two months. And imagine how many soda pops one two-and-a-half-gallon bib could make. Basically infinite. So, the way that most fast food places make their money is the sides and drinks, because they're the most cost-effective to make. And they also have the most high- the highest profit margin, too. And they're really nice, easy impulse purchases. That's why any fast food place will encourage you to buy sides or upgrade to a combo. Because that's where they make the most money. And it takes, like, the least amount of time to make. Like a Sweaty Pop, you literally just hold it under the dispenser for a few seconds. Fries, very quick to make. Versus a burger where it takes 
five to 10 minutes to actually make and cook the item. Anyway, that's Econ 102 with Peace in 17. I almost said my name, I almost leaked. Okay, I'm getting tired. <laughs> 15 more minutes, 15 more minutes. Soda pop is the one form of sugar you don't like. Really? I love soda pop. Okay. I know in my region, people don't call soda pop pop, but I just think it's fun. And that's what my mom calls it. So I learned it from her. why it's called pop or bev beverly what uh, i've i've literally never heard bev that sounds like some old grandma who just likes sparkling water So I told my sister that one day I'm gonna do a ramen stream and she's so excited for it. She can probably hear me in her bedroom me talking right now. Because I told her I was gonna do it this weekend but I'm going out this weekend. Um, Because <laughs> like I bought the meat and everything for it. I bought some like frozen Thai pork, not Thai pork, but just like, you know the, oh, I don't know what it's called, but it's the pork that has like the red food coloring in it. So I bought some of that. And my sister keeps asking me. She's like, when are you going to do the ramen stream? When are you going to do the ramen stream? And I'm like, I'm going to do it next weekend. Because I think when we do the um, chicken nugget tier list, I'm going to ask my roommate to just drive me around places and then buy the food instead of getting it delivered. So I have to plan around when I want to do it. And also when there's like coupons available. Because that's probably going to cost, like, $50 to $100, depending on, like, where we go. Pork belly? No, it's not pork belly. I don't know what it's called. Wait, let me actually... It's going to bother me. I know what it's called. Lop chong? No. It's not what it's called. I know, th I know that's not right. So red Chinese pork. Char siu. Oh, that's what it was. I was far off. It's called char siu. It's really good. I thought I lost my AirPod, but it was in my ear. <laughs> good one, man. Good one. <laughs> I 
I think the only time I've done something like that is when I was like, where's my phone? But then I realized that I'm using the wrong phone. Guys, it is true. I do have two phones. Because I use one for like texting and calling and the other one just for social media and taking pictures. <laughs> so I'll be using like my social media phone and then I hear like my text alert go off and I'm like, why am I not seeing this text message? And I'm like, oh, it's on the other phone. <laughs> Hashtag rich people problems, am I right? It is a bit difficult for me to like switch between the tools like I genuinely have to concentrate on like which directional key to press. I feel so DOM. This is why I can't play like an actual real game. Because it's not that I don't think I could like strategize or whatever or aim. It's just when I when there's too many button inputs my brain just breaks. Like, I'm sure there's some clips in, like, old VODs where I'm playing, like, Stardew and I'm in a combat zone and I switch between the wrong weapon. <laughs> oh, wait, that's the wrong tool. See, I... And the tools look so similar, similar to where I just forget. I think that's why I like the tool carousel they have in Animal Crossing, to where you can use the directional key and then move your joystick to choose which tool. Because, like, cycling through like this is a bit difficult for me. Oh, shoot. You know, my brain is way too big to handle all this. <laughs> My inventory is full! Hmm... I'll get rid of the wood. I, I, I keep on forgetting to empty my inventory. I need to get good. Bedtime soon? Yeah, same for me. Because I am getting ready to crash. A actually, after when this day ends, we'll end stream. And then we'll do calligraphy for the fans. For the fans. Bestie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just tired. And the, you can't... I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this arm is, like, twitching. Because I usually get, like, occasional pains in this arm. So it'll, like... It'll jolt up a little bit. And it's... Whenever I get really fatigued is when it kind of flares up. So I'm trying to, like, make it not look like I'm twitching on camera. Because it's not that I'm, like, self-conscious about, like, any possible ticks I have. It's just I don't want somebody to point it out. Because not that I would get triggered, but it would just bother me. 
Because I think when you're online a lot, you expect people to be respectful all the time. That's why whenever somebody kind of like pushes any boundary, it's very hard to like accept that people will break your boundaries. I don't notice until you say something. Yeah, I, I can feel my eyes ticking like crazy right now. <laughs> like my eyebrows. Good night, Mac. Thank you for hanging out today. And thank you for donating to get a pizza earlier. It was very delicious. Wait, who got automated? They are dumb. <laughs> we at 7.30 p.m. What was that in context for? <laughs> Wait, what were we talking about 30 minutes ago? <laughs> Or not even there. Ten minutes ago. I'm clueless. The soda thing? Is Mac calling people who call soda pop dumb? I think that's a cancelable offense, not gonna lie. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, saved. Jute. Dodged. Okay, everybody, let's save here. Ooh, level 3 forging, plus axe proficiency and a tapper. We can get some nice syrup. Ooh, 700 bucks! Holy moly! Okay, so let's save here. Okay, I would like to thank everybody for watching this super special subscriber only evening stream. We started a new Stardew Valley save. Let's see where this will go. Like I said, I will be doing the Joja route because I've never played it ever, so I don't know what it's like. So hopefully it'll be good. Plus, for minus 5k to get the Joja route. So it'll probably take me a while to <laughs> get 5k, but I'll get it. Um, stream is not over yet, do not worry. We get to do calligraphy, so anybody who uses their channel points or donates to the channel will get their name written. Any redeemers? Also, we hit our follow goal today. Ain't no way, even though one was a bad follow. Still counts, plus one. Anyway, any redeemers want to do calligraphy? to turn the light on. Oh my god, what is this? A sketch card? Yo. Any redeemers? I think we might have rainbow available. said poopara and then purple thank you for excuse me thank you for redeeming chris dude this lighting is so bad this is the regular bedroom light my face is so pink just like my overlay okay thank you for redeeming keelan I still think it was the funniest shit how I was talking about Chris and then they typed in chat. <laughs> I did not mean to like call you out lurking Chris. I did not you were know you were in stream. I was just randomly talking about you. <laughs> so don't cancel me for calling out lurkers. You were talking about me? Yeah, because we were talking about like um, me looking, stalking, looking at people's, like, Twitter profiles and then talking about how I like to look at how many and which people interact or, like, retweet tweets. That way I can see which tweets are more shareable, that type of thing. 
But yeah, nothing bad. I, I was not shit talking. No, no. Okay, let's get some real music on. And, and then I just mentioned how you will typically retweet, like, comps. I always will thank you. Retweets are appreciated, everybody. Okay, I think it's cringe AF when people put in the, like, tweet description, oh, t retweets are appreciated. <laughs> I think it's so cringe. White balance on this camera is whack, but it's it's like a pastel green. Okay, chatters, last name. If you want me to write your name, all I gotta do is use your channel points. Any redeemers? Let's do periwinkle. Last call. So everybody. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And we're done. Okay. Dude, I am so- I'm turning off the big light. I don't look red now. It's because the light in my room is white. That's why it looks whack on camera. Okay. I would like to thank everybody for watching this special subscriber-only stream. I hope you all had fun starting a new save with me. It's gonna take a while to, like, build up the base, but, you know, we will get to it. Once again, thank you to Cole Bobo for gifting seven subs earlier and helping unlock this subscriber-only stream. Can we get some wool Bobo before we end? Thank you, Cole Bobo. Top gifter of the month. Fog you. We also hit our follow goal today. Ain't no way. Crazy. That never happens. It's rare that we even get one follower during live. So thank you to everybody who followed the channel today. Thank you. Um, I will be live again tomorrow with Amori. I might start later in the day because I think I will do like errands in the morning before I start stream and then homework before I start stream. That way I can just not have to stress about it like in the back of my mind, you know? So, as always, make sure you have notifications turned on that way you don't miss a single stream and follow my Twitter. It is in the pinned message. Is it? <laughs> what is my pinned message? Oh, it is. Okay, good. Um, because I know Twitch notifications can be kind of finicky, so make sure you have notifications on for this channel, smash that bell, and have- and follow my Twitch- or my Twitter. Whoopsie. <laughs> I had fun tonight, I hope you guys had a nice, chill evening with me hanging out today. And I will see you all tomorrow with Amori. Amori, everybody. And if you need to catch up on the Amori streams- VODs are public on Twitch for two months, but you can catch a full playlist of all the past VODs here on my YouTube VOD channel. If you, need, if you want to stay up all night and catch up on the story. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Hope you all have a good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.
Yeah, thank you for hanging out today, Chris. We'll be at a good time, then. Also, once again, thank you to Peace and Art for gifting a sub to the channel. Holy, rare gifter. I wonder how many subs that account has gifted to the channel. Wait, let's see. Can I see? Oh, I can't see. Can I add? Can I? Oh, I can't click on their name. Because there's only certain ways that you can see people's badges for like gifted and stuff in my mod view. I wonder how many. It's got to be like 20 or 30 at this point. Lamau, yeah. But thank you once again, Kim, for redeeming. Minus five dollars <laughs> for me. Nah, I think it's fine to offer that channel for redemption. I think it's totally fine and valid. Because, you know, if somebody has 15,000 points, then that means they've watched a whole month of streams, so. <laughs> okay, time for me to sleep. Good three and vibes. Crashed anyway. Did have fun in both streams. <laughs> Thank you, Keelan, for hanging out. You need to fix your sleep schedule and be like, hey, peace and underscore 17. I'm not going to watch streams because I need to go to bed. Thank you for hanging out. I had a good time, man. Fun chatting with you as always. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... <laughs> I can't wait. I just realized I can report accounts. I forgot I can do that. I'm reporting that dirty tampon for the bad username. I literally forgot. I literally forgot I can report users. Shatters, do not ever report someone falsely. Only report them if they're actually violating TOS. No, I told the Mario use tampon story after this happened. After they fall. I, I told that story like 30 minutes after because I had to make sure they were gone. <laughs> okay, well, I should end stream. <laughs> yeah, so chatters, if you ever see anybody with a sus username, like sexually explicit or like has like slurs or is like hateful in their username, that's a bannable offense now. So just report them easy. And that goes for, like, anywhere you see on Twitch, because if you see it here in this chat or other chats, just report them. Usually nothing comes of it, but if it's, like, a really hateful name, they'll ban them. Anyway, bye!